This is the pull cord on the motor. It comes off with three screws. It's pretty simple. We're going to take the, the cord out and replace the cord. I've got a new cord. I'm guessing it might even be part of that cord right there. We're going to heat the end of it, which we've already done here. Um, we're going to tie a knot in it. So when we, when we put it in, it's, the knot's going to hold. It's not going to come out. Now one thing I like to do is I like to heat it up a little bit. Oh boy. No, which is it's, it's fire. Heating this up is gonna make it stick together better, and any loose ends are gonna be melted back. Let's just say that. So I'm not gonna touch it because it's definitely hot right now. And now we're gonna take this cord and wrap it up. I'm here. Okay, you can you move over because you're right in the way. Why don't oh. you sit right here? Here. That's, okay. That's so that. let me tell them what we're gonna do. So we got the inside and we're going to wind it counterclockwise not all the way we're going to see how far it goes and what that's going to do is going to ensure that we've got enough tension to pull the the cord back in after we've made our pull stroke on the motor and that's as far as it'll go i'm gonna back off a little bit so it's not Super, super tight. All right, we're going to wrap it again. Nope. Okay. Counterclockwise. We're going to feed it through the, through the hole on the inside. Probably a smaller rope would be helpful, but honestly, I don't have one. So this rope's going to have to work. I got ladybugs all over me. Taking my knife and I'm just pushing it in to get it. There it is. Now. So now we've got it all the way in. We've already got our knot. We've heated the knot. So it's pretty tight. We're just going to let it unwind. Nice and easy. See how far she goes. Yep. Don't let it go or you're going to do it again. I got to find the ends.
covered in in ladybugs. Where are the kids? They walk. Uh, halfway down the hill, I passed Gabriel. He's like, "Mommy, my legs are tired." <laughs> That's funny. So there's two ways, guys, that you can get this little extra cut off. You can cut it with a knife and that's fine, or you can heat it up, and that's fine too. Um, you're still gonna need to heat it up so that when it's all frayed, that you seal that frayed, frayedness in, if you will. That way, it won't fray off and this knot come loose. If that knot comes loose, you gotta do the whole thing over again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it, and then I'm gonna heat it. Get a sharp knife, So now you got a frayed little end right there. Now that right there has all melted together so it's not gonna come apart anymore. I hesitate to touch it because I know it's hot. How hot? Check it out, guys. One, ha <laughs> ha. Now we gotta put it back together.